So if you don't know what I've just done, or if you can do it better and you don't know what you're doing, then this video is for you. This is my um, Guitar Lessons 107 in my Guitar Lessons series. 101 where I explain the anatomy or structure of the guitar, electric guitar versus acoustic guitar. I tell you what all these little buttons and knobs and things do if you're brand new to a guitar and you were too shy to ask anyone about it. We're now uh, going to focus this lesson 107 on Mike DeBrain 5538, the channel you're watching. We're going to focus it on triads uh, played on one string because I know you want to be shredders. And this is really some of the secret sauce uh, of the key ingredients. So what I've just done now, I've played a series of triads. I've played A minor, A, C, E. Then I played E minor, E, G, B. Then I played A minor again, A, C, E. And I played D major, second inversion. Now, what the hell am I talking about? Well, a triad, as the name says, tri, three, three notes, because chords are made up of three intervals, intervals being the distance between notes. Intervals are referenced with um, with reference to the national numbering system developed in 1959 in other than national. C major is defined as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Next octave 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, back to C. Right, so two horizontal octaves there, and I went into the third octave on note 15. So numbers 1 to 14. So a major chord is the root, I'm using A major here at the 12th fret. Second interval, third interval is C major to E. One, three, five. A C minor is one minor third, perfect fifth. Note with a minor chord, there's two spaces and you depress on the third fret away from the root, A to C. That's a minor third interval if you're a beginner. And then the perfect fifth is located, you skip three frets and depress the E note. That's simple. A major, skip three, depress, skip two, depress. Minor, skip two, skip three, depress. Note that I also played the same thing on the G string here. To the fretboard you use octaves to navigate your way a a a a a a a a a all the a's just it helps you navigate the fretboard okay then i played e minor e a g and a b then I played a D major in the third inversion, F sharp, A, and there at the 22nd fret, it's a 22 fret guitar, you can go count it if you want to. How did I know it's a D so quickly? Because I'm playing an open E. If I had 24 frets, I'd be playing E again, so therefore 22 is a D, a D note. Now, these things, to become sure it's just... High repetition. You've got to do it a few million times, if you're with me. And you will get a lot better. Your hand will get used to the, the shape, your fretting hand. And then while we're at it, if you want to get fast, you want to start using your ring finger and your middle finger to get your speed up. You see, you... I call it hybrid picking because you're using your pick and those two fingers. And to get fast, you do some string skipping. But you first got to do it slowly, as you can see. But I'm just showing you the how because if you don't know what you're doing, 
and you can just go like that. But if you know what you're doing, go nice and slowly. And if you're not used to these stretches, take it easy, otherwise you won't be playing a 12 for eight months to a year. So I've been doing other exercises like playing um, minor pentatonics, three notes per string, you know, like... I'm not sitting very comfortable, that was a diminished note there. sitting very comfortable to show you uh, three notes per string but you probably know it but um, this is the sort of secret sauce know your triads know how to play them three notes per string and, um, and know how to play minor pentatonic in all five positions in in uh, one uh, vertical octave and I mean from the open string to this the 12th fret and then from the 12th fret up to your 22 or 24 fret guitars that's what i mean because there's two horizontal octaves i mean horizontal downwards like that like i demonstrated c major and then vertical octaves going up the neck up to the bridge here so um and and then and start practicing your the subject of E minor here, E, G and B. If I played E, G and C, just by moving one note there from B to C, I've got C major in the second inversion because the triad of C major is C, E, G, but I'm going E, G, C. So I'm starting on the second note of the triad, therefore it's a second inversion, just like the D, F sharp, A, D. Okay. Guitars set a bit low there. Uh, the, the action set a bit low there too. So you want to practice slowly to get yourself across and also your hybrid. And then you, you could end up surprising your partner or your bandmates. Because eventually you'll. I need to practice it. This, this, I'm not going to deny that, but I've shown you what to do. Let me put things in perspective. You know, a lot of the stuff comes from the late Alan Holsworth, we suspect. But consider if I play a tune you know well, like Eruption. Look what I'm doing. I'm skipping two frets and I'm playing off a root there on the B string and third fret to D note. So I'm playing D minor and then I'm hitting the a note there at the 10th fret. And I'm raising the 5th interval to the raised 5th, also known as augmented 5th or flat 6. Interesting, eh? So there's actually a science behind this. You know, Eddie Fon, the late Eddie Van Halen was a great fan of the late Alan Walsworth. And as I said earlier, get to know your play your minor uh, pentatonic scales, three notes per string. I'm playing. I'm nearly combining position one with position two. That's position three and so you go on and let me tell you if you combine position one with position um, five the position below it coming off the G note because that's the flat seventh or the pentatonic scale because I told you in my lessons on uh, I think it's lesson 103 or 104 on minor pentatonics <laughs> You could play 90% of your rock and roll and blues songs from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond, just using position 5 and position 1 combined. 
all your euros use that technique. You go put your vinyl or your cassette or your uh, CD or YouTube and you'll jam along and see what I mean. Those notes will fit, especially a lot of the songs were based on an A minor pentatonic. Whether it was D minor pentatonic, you do the same thing. The principles remain the same. And um, with, within no time, you'll be all over the show and you'll, you'll impress anyone you want to impress um, if you're playing in a group or playing with a mate you'll um, quickly see that they'll be quite uh, amazed how your skills have, have improved very rapidly. If you just sit and do it often enough, it's not that long ago that I just sat down and got my hand to be able to do these things. I'm playing C major there, C, E and G. It's a lot of fun and I urge you to get into it. Good luck. Thanks for viewing and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you.